Hello there, it's Tanya from Tutti's Treasure. So today I'm here with the seventh in the mask making series, the Tanya meets Tina and Tim. And this week it's a fold out booklets. Um, so basically what they are is, I think this is about six and it ends up being just over three and a half wide and then these will be stuck down so there's a little pocket each side and that's it we just decorate the front top and that is that um it's really really hot here today so i might have to keep pausing the video to just go and cool down um like i've said the fan is way too noisy to to have on so i've got my blind up now surprisingly it's not made it look too dark um so yeah i've got the blind shut hopefully keep it keep it cool um i thought i was prepared but obviously i'm not I've lost one piece of paper somewhere Where's that gone? Aha, there it is. So all I've done is this was a 12 by 12 and I've just cut it in half. So one 12 by 12 makes two. Um I'm just well, let me show you what I've got first. So I've chosen to use the backs of the papers because I do like, they always remind me of tiled floors. Um, and I've got the pattern bit, bit in the middle because I want to decorate them up and stuff and I, I find the other side quite difficult to, to decorate because it's already, you know, collaged and stuff. So I've got some bits of lace, some linen, um, some coffee stained cheesecloth and I'm going to put some photos on the front so I've put some photos out. Um, I've got my little tin with all little uh, Tim Holtz snippet type things in that. I've got a couple of rolls of washi tape, some tickets and then I've got some botanical die cuts and then I have got a couple of doilies, some of that lovely paper what's been in one of my haul videos. I think it was probably April's um, some piano paper this is right at the end of the roll so there's no holes on it or anything um, it's just really nice colour and texture bit of straw paper yeah. some graph paper and then some dictionary paper and some music paper so that's what I'm going to be using for any collage that I do and any decoration. So let me get my scoreboard. I forgot that I needed to use this. Right, so like I say, these are the 12 by 12s. Let me just move it up more so you're in frame. Um, it's in here so yeah I can feel my brain melting already so I'm going to score it at dead on 6 let's turn it over score it again dead on 6 just to make it easier to, to fold 
banish that down to get a nice nice crease and then I think I did the inside pockets at two and a half each side so go two and a half turn it round two and a half and then turn it over go two and a half and then just flip it to do the other side two and a half and then we'll just fold those over Give it a nice, a nice press down. Yep. And then I just got my corner punch and I did every single um, corner. Make sure it's all the way in. because it's double and then do do these ones and then I also I think I did those as well so that's that smooth make scoreboard out of the way then I'm going to use the walnut stain to just go around the around the edges just to cover any of the the white paper that's showing now that it's been cut and just to define all of the all of the edges I do like the walnut stain on the on the Tim Holtz. I think it goes goes really nice. So do the back. on the bottom of my mat and I'll do that side that's that keep that out to go around the photo so that's now going to be the inside. I think we might as well glue glue this bit down. If I can get the lid off my glue. I don't think I've used any of my glues for a couple of days. So oh I think it's stuck. <laughs> I'm not having much use with these um look with these long um, fine tippers I don't know if it's me or or not but like I say I think it, it does do the job it's just um, it does seem to get stuck up right I'm just on a bead around there just go slightly around the corner bit That. press it down and we do do the other side that's 
<laughs> yep. And just do the do the middle one. That's better. Right, put this, let me get the, the, the dangle one while I'm using it. I've got my glasses on, that's it. Right, so I'm going to use a photograph. Let me make sure it's the right way. Yeah, a photograph on the on the front. So I'll ink, ink that round. And my idea was to lay it on some some paper and um, and some fabric then maybe do a little bit of a cluster type type thing so I don't know if to have the photo higher and have something here or or have it you know middle so we shall see when um, <coughs> And then start layering it up. So I'm just going to get a piece of the dictionary paper. And get my hair ruler. Oh gosh, that's a big stretch. So I'm just going to go all the way around it just to get the white off and, and give it the the torn edge look. So that's that. If I'm out of the way. <coughs> so I go round it like that. See how long we need it. Probably about that. I'll just give that a ink round. I won't say I've probably got enough on my dobber just to get to get around this bit. With it being so dark, it does seem to still, you know, still have a bit bit left. So that's that. Just like, just like that. See if I can put any graph paper on it. Let's just tear along there to get the rough edge. Yeah. So I might have that like that. Do I want a bit of anything else? Maybe a bit at the, the bottom. I'll just see if I can tear a bit of this off. So we'll have that there. Um, I'll just tear a bit of straw off, and then we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. So I know. That I'm definitely having that down, so <clears throat> I'll lay that that down first. 
going to use the, the Cosmic Shimmer. As I've said before, it's very similar to the Art Glitter glue, but um, it's, it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, this one's not coming. I, you'd think that the glues would be quite melty with it being quite hot. I'd have thought it would have made them a lot more runny, but it hasn't. It doesn't seem to have. So that's that. I think I do like that down then because it, it gets rid of that that blank bit. So we'll lay that down. So I hope everybody's okay. Like I say, it's absolutely red hot here. Um, like just over a week ago, it was up. It was it gone quite dull and and cold. Um, but yeah, it's gone really hot. No, I think I like that sticky out bit best. So we'll put that on there. So yeah, I was very glad to get my my blind up um, because as I said before it was actually because my desk is at the window facing the window um, I was actually getting a suntan through through the window and it, it took me a bit to realize that that was uh, what was happening so I'd have to start wearing uh, factor 30 why I was in here which is crazy so yeah so um, oh quite like that yeah I don't think it needs that. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's get the positioning right. I'm not going to, as much as I do like that hanging over, I'm not going to have it hanging over because obviously it opens that way so it's just going to get get crushed so I'll go as far as I can to the to the edge so these photos are the the Tim Holtz um, are they lost relatives or found relatives <laughs> they're relatives anyway I don't know if it's lost or found them probably lost and found but um, yeah they're, they're that pack and I think I've showed them in the whole video so you do get quite a lot um, I'm not sure if I want that tilted or if I want to stray it let me just take I'm just going to take that bit off there because I don't I don't want it hanging out the, the top bit. Quite like it just, is that just off centre? Yeah, I'm quite liking it um, like that. So before I stick it down, I'm just going to think of, um, you know, doing a bit of a, a collage down here let's just put those photos there so we had got some tickets but they're far too long from there um and i'd cut these out of a tim holtz eight by eight piece of paper quite like that there 
Um, so yeah, just just cut all the elements out. Is I think it's a more industrial one. I forget what it's called, but it's got a lot of um, like pages of the tickets and and stuff. Uh, I wouldn't actually use a whole page like that. So for me, I thought it was better uh, cutting it all all to bits and, and using them as actual elements. Can I rip that? Yeah. So we just, I said this was cheesecloth, but it's, um, it's the surgical gauze. And then I've just, just coffee dyed it. I've done a very good job of, of ripping it. So I perhaps have that like that. Um, do we want a bit of lace? Let's let me get my better scissors. They're a bit a bit piddly. Let's cut a bit a bit of this off. I can feel my kneecaps are actually sweating. How <laughs> gross! But but it's true. I'm gonna top cut the I oh, can't talk cut the top bit off because I quite like that. Can you see how it, it points down into a V? So I'm quite liking that across there. But it's a bit too a bit too long. So let's have a yeah, I'm quite liking that. Might stick that down and put the photo photo on top. So I, I'll get me Fabri-Tac, well, it's actually Beacon 3-in-1, but it's the same. I'm just branded under under a different different name. I don't know if, like, Beacon is, is the UK um, brand of, of Fabri-Tac or, or not, because I know in shops and that we can pick up uh, beacon. I've I've never seen fabric I'm gonna say yeah, I always get my fabric from from Amazon. So I just pop that that down there. I've inked that oven so so yeah I like that. So I'm going to use the fabric app for, for this. These um, photographs, they are quite um, quite sturdy. Probably like chipboard, really. Um, they're nice, glossy. Well, I suppose they're like a matte. Yeah, they, they're like a matte finish. But um, yeah, they're really nice pieces. So do I like that like that? Yeah. That's all connected. Right, let's get this little piddly, piddly piece. I've got a little bit of this brown lace here. Might put that under. Sorry, I'm just mumbling, mumbling to myself. Let's cut that down. Yeah. I like that. So I'll just put a dab across, across here. Yeah. Can't tell what the right way. Ah, that's it. Let's dab that down. I think I'm, I'm going to stick the actual cheesecloth to to the number. Let me just 
go around that actually. Careful not to get glue on my dabber. So and just tease it out a little bit just to get, get them threads coming out. And I'll put some more glue on to stick it, stick it down. Yep. Yeah. I think I've got half the thread stuck on stuck on my glue. Hopefully that'll be enough to to stick it down. I'll just hold that down a minute while I get those threads off my glue. So that's that. I'm pleased with that. Wish I'd perhaps gone a little bit higher because it does look, look a bit bare up there. Um, I did have some washi tape somewhere. Maybe I could put this number one across. I think I prefer this one. If I can find the end. I don't tend to put glue down with the Tim Holtz. Um, no, I don't like it. Um, <clears throat> with the Tim Holtz washes. I probably have to glue that down if I used use that again. I think I quite like that. Yeah, I like that. It's, um, I don't think it wants being right at the top. Uh, right, let me cut cut that off. Yeah. That's that. Yeah, that's a bit better. It's break break that space up a little a little bit. So that's that. Stick that bit down so it don't don't dry up. So then we open it up and I've just got the the little um oh, are they four by three cards. I'm just trying to find the hold on, I'm just having a shuffle. I can't find it. Um, so yeah, I was just going to use those for the cards. So, oop, try a minute away. Just around these corners. I'll just put one in each side and then it shows that, that it is a tuck. those up so I've still not heard anything about going back to work yet which I'm happy happy about so I think they've been open like two and a half weeks now I've not been been down there or anything but um i think the shops have been quite busy so it might not be long before before they want you know the rest of of the stuff back but fingers crossed it's not yet so that's that just check what the lighting's like yeah it's still still fine so i was going to put one of these um wild flower dies maybe that could perhaps use one of those tickets over there um maybe a 
it just needs a bit of something. Oh, scissors stuck. Oh, I've got a bit of washi tape on, on my scissors. Right, let's cut a little bit of this off. Yeah. I think um, I'm hot and not so sweaty, but um, yeah, everything just keeps sticking to me. Let's see if, oh gosh, I was going to say, let me see if I can fray that. Yeah. Talk about fraying. So, I could possibly, don't want to make it too too bulky because obviously we've got a little bit of bulk on on the front see if i've got anything in in my magic tin might go for just a little label or something it's a bit boring Oh, maybe something something like that. Let's see if I've Yeah. No. I prefer the, the blank one. I don't know if it, you know, because there's stuff already on the ticket or not. Oh gosh, that bit's so small. I don't even see it. Yeah, maybe just something, something like that. What does it look like? Maybe it needs a, a tracer label. It's an hour. Tanya meets uh, Tim, Tina and Tracy. <laughs> Gosh, that's a, a mouthful, isn't it? Isn't it? Gosh, fancy me saying that, isn't it? That's uh, terrible. Slang. Maybe a little bit too too wide that that one. Yeah. Kind of the dog padding outside the door. Yeah, something, something like that. Right, let's, let's put it, now do I want it down? Or do I want it at the top, the bottom, the middle? Top, middle or bottom? I forgot what that game show was called. It had those, um television screens on it there was um three lines of i think middle three lines of television uh screens and you have to go across you know this all the screens and um you would pick pick a screen and it would either say you know move forward or it was a prize or i don't know if it stopped or game over. I can't quite remember that. Um, 
Oh yeah, that was a good game show. That must have been quite early, early 80s actually. Because I can remember watching it at my grandparents when I used to stay, stay at a weekend when my mum was at work. So yeah, it must have been very early, early 80s. They had the best game shows, I think, in, in the 80s. I don't know if I... Can anybody remember... Um, I don't know, even know if it was called this, but 3, 2, 1. And... Um, I'm sure that's the same one as the Dusty Bin. Um, I don't know if that was like the booby prize. Yeah, you you went home with the the Dusty Bin. And, and I had a Dusty Bin, because... Obviously, there was all, I don't know if there was all the rage, but I mean, I, I thought there was. Um, I got one for Christmas one year, and it was like a, a laundry basket. So it was just, you know, like a black bin covered in um, like a furry thing with the face on and um, a lid. And I, I really loved that. I had it for quite a few years. I don't think it needs that. But so uh, they did try to in the in the UK. I don't know what side it was on, but so uh, and it's pro I'm, I'm gonna say oh, about ten years ago, but it was probably a lot longer than that. They did um a couple of series where they did like took off all the old game shows and um. Uh, you know, one week it'd be one game show uh, and stuff. But it it wasn't the same. I don't know if Vernon K did it or not. Um, and I do quite like him, but uh, it's it still it just wasn't wasn't the same. I can say I think the game hosts um, people. You know, in the eighties and month, there was. Absolutely brilliant. There you are, trip down memory lane. I don't know. I feel quite indecisive today, but that that might just be the sun. Um, just muddles your brain a bit. I can't even tell. Um, what side up that goes but I can see most of the flowers at the top so I'm assuming it's it's that way so yeah that, that can just go there I'll just lightly run this just around the around the edge that's that Pressure. Oh, I forgot that I'd not stuck them down. Been waffling and um, yeah, felt like I'd finished. I just put a bit of ink around there. So yeah, I am preferring that darker ink because, like I say, once you've inked, um, you know your main piece, you you've got quite a bit of ink still still left on with it being so dark it it takes a long time for it to to rub off whereas you know if it was the antique photo um you'd be having to keep dubbing it down every single time so i am liking it for that so I just make sure all that's done Let's give that a little bit of a rub there, just a little bit of glue's come over the top. And that's gone. And shall put that there. I'm not going to put anything 
underneath this one. I'm going to just slightly have it off. So that's that's the middle. Don't know if to run some washi tape around that. I just catch that. But yeah, it's a good job I didn't take this um, serviette napkin no what is that doily <laughs> it's a good job i didn't take it any any further across yeah i do like that yeah i think <clears throat> i have to just yeah i quite like that down down that edge well, i am i'm gonna go right to the edge this time Just so it just breaks that that pattern up a little bit. Right, let me just get me. I don't know if I can do this and it cut it off or yeah, it's done it. That's that. Let's rub that round corner again. Where's my lid? Got that there. Right, let me check the time. 41. So that's that. Um, I'll start off another one. Yeah, I think they're really, really nice. Right, stop waffling, get off. So, that's a different pattern, isn't it? Turn on the same same pattern so get it all around again so yeah nothing exciting has happened this week <laughs> I had my weekly visit to the post office and the supermarket I um, can't remember if I did say on a video or not but um, on a Monday me and my youngest daughter we take take the dog a walk and um we went for a walk and we have to leave it quite late now because it's too hot so we tend to go about seven eight o'clock and um the way we go it um can join up to like where where my mum lives we was halfway around the walk and I've not seen my mum for like 11 weeks um so mum's got asthma and um i mean we, we would have all self-isolated whether she got asthma or not but um yeah that's obviously probably not seen her for I, i'd have probably seen her sooner let's say um so yeah, it was halfway round and Alan said, shall we go up to Nana's? And I was like, yeah, let's. <laughs> um, and, and we went up there and took her by surprise. It was quite funny because um, we she's got two dogs. And um, so we stood at the gate a little bit and waited for, you know, all the dogs to jump up each other and growl and you know whatever they was gonna do um because obviously they've all not seen each other for a while so just wanted to make sure you know they was all gonna be okay um and i thought oh, it's weird you know mum's not come out to see what kind of the commotion is but she didn't and um <laughs> went down the side of her house and like when we got to the back she was in the conservatory with the door open and she got the tally on like full blast um i'm gonna use a different glue i just can't cope with that and um yeah i don't know what she got on but it was music uh, it must have been some some concert 
Um, <laughs> stop there. Going, hello, hello, hello. And after a few minutes, you could see that it, it had like registered. <laughs> and um, she didn't turn around at first, but yeah, I could tell like she'd, you know, she'd heard us and, and stuff. And then she turned around and it was so nice because she looked so pleased that that we'd come up. So we sat on the, the back garden and, and had a cup of tea. Um, so yeah, it was nice to, to have a catch up. So we have said, because um, we do tend to take the dog on a, on a Monday. But well, it's been nice to, um, to get out. I mean, even though we're spending a lot of time with each other, you know, because we're home all the time obviously you know i'm in here here a lot working and she's in her room doing school work and stuff so um you know we may be seeing each other a lot but um we're not spending quality time together type things so the monday has been um you know, like quality time and exercise and, and stuff. So, um, yeah, we, we said if um, the weather's fine, obviously we can't go up and sit on the garden if it's throwing it down. Um, but, yeah, if the weather's good, we're going to go up again on, on Monday. But, um, yeah, I think we we'll stay for about an hour. Um, and... We didn't do the full walk because, um, like I say, the, the way that we went, it was only like part of, of the walk. Um, and we walked home the same the same way. Um, and when we got in, I was absolutely exhausted. And I, I said to Eleanor, I think that, that is just conversation. Like, because... You know, we've only, like, been talking to each other and talking to my partner and and stuff. And, obviously, it's just, like, day-to-day -day talk. Um, but, yeah, I just couldn't believe how exhausted it, it made me feel. Um and I said to my daughter, like, are you exhausted? And she said, no. Anyway, the next day, um, when she gets, she said, I'm exhausted, Mum. And I said, I feel the same. I said, I feel really drained. And I said, I do think it is, um, you know, with with a different interaction um, type thing. So I said, we must make sure that... Um, we do go um, on a Monday just for um, to get back into the the swing of um, you know being around people. So it just it just goes to show, um, which for you know for people who. Who perhaps aren't very social, you know, to start with. Um, it's, I think it's going to be very difficult for some people to to get back out there, um, type thing. Right, I'm just basically following the same kind of um, I don't know what the technical word is. <laughs> the same kind of formation as, as as the other and that's what I tend to do when when I'm mass making it's um you know the first one work out where where things look best and then you kind of just just go with it obviously I've used a different type of um graph paper Probably won't put the doily in because um, I want this to be to be more masculine. And to be quite honest, I'm liking it just like that. Um, 
I do like the the men stuff to be quite um, bare. I just think it um, it really goes goes with that. I'll stick that down. So yeah, that's going to be as Monday thing as in you know when with the weather. Because um, even though you know it's absolute glorious sunshine at the moment, it doesn't mean that um, you know next week it, it could be back in winter because um, that is the British weather. And um, I think you know we've had we've had a lot of good weather so, so far this year. I say it's probably been the longest kind of nice weather that that we've had. So let me just check that straight because I do think that that needs to be quite... Oh, I hope this isn't upside down. No, it's not. <laughs> just thought to best check. Right, so what shall we have? <laughs> Collection of specimens. <laughs> I quite like that. Let me ink, ink my... Oh. And what a fabulous specimen he is. <laughs> oh, I do like that. I've just realised I've got chewing gum in my mouth. I hope I haven't been um, slop, slop, slopping. But, um, yeah, I did think that my mouth would go quite quite dry with it being, being hot and and talking so yeah I'm sorry if I have been slush slush sloshing I kind of forget that but I've got it in no I'm not keen on that I really don't want to put a bit of lace behind it I've lost half a stone while I've been sitting here. Oh, so I'm starting to melt now. I'll be the witch of Wizard of Oz. Just melting away. Yeah, I like that. Let me just um, get rid of the, that bulky bulky bit so I will finish this one off um, and then I'll pause and finish the rest off and then I'll come back and just show you show you how they've turned out and I always put um, a photo up on, on Instagram So that's that. Yeah, I like that. That don't seem to have stuck down. Let me just cut this. So put that down. Yep. Right. I'm going to use this leafy one okay, that's the wrong way around yeah so I'm going to put that there and some another ticket oh I've got all my lids off and Um, with this one, I think I might just just put a bit of paper down there just to just to break it up with not wanting to use um, the fabric. So 
yeah, I think once that's in top, that'll be that'll be fine. Right, let's get this done. Yeah, I shall be standing in front of the fan when when I finish this. Funny is I've I've got order. I don't I don't like sitting sitting out there. I don't seem to be able to to tolerate it. But I do think that well I know it is. That's part of having the fibre in my order as well. Um, I like temperature system doesn't work. Um, so if it's hot we over here if it's cold we're absolutely freezing so yeah i'm normally more poorly in the summer um because I, I we have you know big problems with dehydration and obviously because we <coughs> you know fatigue's part of it um the heat and that you know makes most people fatigued so it's like a double double fatigued at the minute I seem you know I'm, I'm fine and I have to keep reminding myself to stay cool as cool as I can and keep keep drinking and I do forget to to hydrate on I'm not very good at it. But yeah, at the minute, I feel quite good. And I'm quite pleased with myself. I've got all caught up with my household chores because I've absolutely let them pile up. And then, you know, with us all like being off and stuff, I've just thought... Oh, I'll wait till every, you know, everybody's back at school, work and catch up. And obviously time's gone on and on. And, um, yeah, it was getting, it was getting pretty bad. So I did actually spend three full days um, cleaning, ironing, cleaning windows. You know, tidying things out and stuff. Um, and I've up to date with all my orders in, in both my shops. Which is good because since the lockdown started, um, I probably had double the orders that, that I normally have. Um so yeah it was um i was not behind with them but um i'd always got you know i'd always got some and even when i cleared them it was like within two days i'd, I'd got as many again so it's a nice feeling um <laughs> not that i'm saying i don't want orders because obviously i do but um yeah it's a nice feeling um thinking oh you know i've not I've not got any, I've completed it and so that's good. And um well I mean I feel like I've been saying it for ages but I'm nearly at the end of <laughs> of all the B projects and and I don't know why I left the journals till the last um because I just feel like I've run out of steam um and i want to get on to, to something something else um so i've done all the covers all the papers already uh, and stuff i've literally just got to sew them in and and jazz them up a bit um but yeah i keep finding everything to do but but that type of thing but um i'm determined i'm not starting my new projects off until till it's done so i shall have to get on with that so that's that one
yeah i like that might put some then somewhere somewhere else but for now i am gonna pause and i shall be back and and show you the finished look because we're at an hour now so i shall see you soon hi i'm back so i've done the six and so i'm really happy how they turned out one about the tank <laughs> so that's that's the six so thank you very much i'll see you all very soon bye, for now. bye.